Hey warriors and welcome to Sunco Gasoline. And back. Welcome back to Bloodlines. There, got it right this time. So, um, uh, yeah, let's get out of this goofy camera angle. And, um, go ahead and start the Sabat quest with Bertram Tongue here. Hey, Bertram. You ready to go? I, I guess. Oh yeah, I wanted to tell you guys, I did look into the the Bounty Hunter quest for Carson. We're supposed to hunt him down, but when I asked Arthur Kilpatrick about it, the Bondsman, uh, he said that you could find him wherever there was booze and women. And I don't remember doing any sort of tracking down of the guy, so I think it's triggered some other way, so I'm going to wait until... Wait until that happens. So, um, yeah, let's go. Let's head on to the Sabat warehouse, where we finally get to use the Astrolite we picked up at the beach house. So uh, I don't know how many episodes ago now. Probably a couple of hours ago. Oh, sounds like there's some. Good music in the background. Alright, let's crouch down here. Squeeze through this tunnel. Yep, I remember this. Yeah, let's just go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and, uh, take care of this guy quietly. There we go. I thought about leaving him alone, but then thought better of it. Um, speaking of thinking of stuff, you know, maybe I should up my melee ability. And the reason I want to do that is because... Which one's cheaper, melee or strength? Six. Strength is eight, so six. I've got 16. Yeah, the reason I wanted to do that is because my weapon, the only, in fact, the only melee weapon I have left, requires, I think, yes, 5. And uh, I don't want any sort of penalty. So, yeah, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and up that. I know this character is or will be one day a character that uses guns, but not quite yet. We'll get there eventually. So, remember exactly how this plays out. I remember that guy. I don't remember what happens from here on out. Okay. I did remember vaguely being surprised here once, and stuff all over the place is glowing because of my inspection feet. As I was saying, I do remember getting surprised here once, but I think that was a mod. I think that was... Well, I don't remember the name of the mod. It had a strange name. It came out recently. It made the game brutally difficult. Oh, yeah. Some ammo. 38 ammo. Okay, I, oh, I did, okay, I did pick up a shotgun at some point. And, but I only have four shells for it. Maybe there are some shells laying around here somewhere. Maybe. So if we take a peek through here, I believe there are guys waiting. There's a guy there. Do I still have my sword equipped? I thought I equipped my equipped my sword. She put it away for some reason. I don't know that this guy ever turns around, really, so I should be able to sneak up on him and get the awesome katana stealth kill. Yes. Be -do -do -do. 
Okay, right. <laughs> you automatically pick up guns, that's right. And uh, this door doesn't open. The reason I'm coming over here is because there's a box. I don't think there's anybody else over here waiting for me. There's a box of ammo. Well, if I could get to it, there's a box of ammo somewhere over here. At least there was last time I played. Ah, yes, here's that shotgun ammo I was talking about. So, so now we have... Okay. I'm not sure if that means four loaded and five left, or... <laughs> uh, which one is the ranged? F2, okay. Okay. Five out of five with four shells left, right? I believe that's what that means. Ooh. It's a yellow tinge to the sky. Oh, I, I've got to start looking up more. I never look up in games and I miss all these... I miss all the effort they put into these areas. Nice skybox. Building here with a broken sign. Bomb. Alright. Don't you say a word, bum. I believe this is a choke point here. I don't think we can go anywhere from this. From here? Unless I can. Hmm. 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 Let's try this way. Thug says, okay, there are two guys there. Yo, what the fuck is going on here tonight? Fox is all in everyone's face and shit. Didn't oh. you hear? A new shipment came in. Some pretty serious hardware. Yeah, I heard. But what the fuck? We get that kind of shit in here all the time. What's so different about tonight? I don't know. Marcus is tense as a motherfucker. Maybe you heard something. Like what? Like, I don't know if we keep your fucking eyes open. And someone better tell those clowns in the freight house to quit playing cards before Marcus comes out and starts peeling fucking caps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Uh oh. I hear somebody. It's right here. Don't come this way, guys. Go, hurry. Crouch faster. Could you crouch walk faster, please? Hey, you see something out there? I might get caught. Out there in the trains. I swear I saw something moving. Ain't nothing out here. You just oh, scared shit. Me, John. What? Shit, I ain't scared of nothing. There's a guy right there. Besides come and get a piece of this. Hey, quit waving that thing around. Fucking explosives all over the place again. Oh, man. Close up or something? Now who's fucking scared? Dude, I can't duck underneath the trains. Oh, I should be spotted here. Um. Oh, right. This isn't even a way to go, is it? Oh, God. <laughs> 100% chance of being spotted here. 50. 100. Okay, I'm out of line of sight, though. Good. Um. Oh god, there's a guy right there. Uh. Huh. Can you? If I jump here... Oh, look at that. Some more artwork. Shamrock, huh? Yeah, I want to say you can't jump over here. It would spoil my stealth. If I could stealthily go over the fence, but I, it would be great, but I think it would spoil everything. So. Oh, you can distract people. I'm forgetting all the stealth mechanics in this game. Is there a can? There should be plenty of trash laying around here. I would think so, anyway. Damn it. Don't you see me, you bastard. Shamrock. Mm, not a single piece of... <laughs> not a single piece of garbage. 